at one time, there was like no decisions how to do any of this stuff, and all there were were these wonderful color artworks that Ralph had done of, of the big walking machines. So we had to figure out how we're going to do this, and one of the thoughts was to make a robot. We we're going to make a complete robotic one that would actually kind of move by itself, a walking machine maybe five feet tall or something like that. And, and that seemed like it could be get very complicated and very expensive to do, but my background is in, in, before Star Wars was really in stop motion animation. And I'd seen King Kong when I was a kid and all. And so I pushed to do it in stop motion because they're machines anyway, and if they move sort of like a little staccato-like, it would just make them look more like machines. So we, decided, we did it in stop motion. And we did it with models that were as big as a person could animate, which is about the size that a person can get their hands in to move it frame at a time. And we did it in front of big paintings that were, instead of blue screen compositing, paintings that were done to look like the sky, but painted so realistically you thought they were actually outdoors. The sets that were built were baking soda and with trap doors in them so the animators could pop up, animate the figure, and go back down, and you could shoot a frame of film. And at 24 frames a second, we sort of, sometimes we'd get a shot a day if we were doing real good, which is like a five second shot. So we had scales that were like five foot or four foot tall one for, the, for scenes when it sort of blew up, some part of it blew up and it had to fall over. Those were done with high speed photography. And we had some photo cutouts that were in the backgrounds, or sometimes when you see about six or seven of them, and the ones in the background are just Polaroid photo cutouts that are sort of animated. And then we have little tiny ones that we used for the very opening shot, I think when you see them, or some of the speeder shots, when you see them off in the distance, real tiny ones off in the distance there. And we just made them as small as we could possibly make them to do it. So we had lots of different scales that we mixed and matched depending on the shot.